Yes. Get yeah, Joe. All right, folks. Welcome back to Joelicious Kitchen. Today, in the kitchen, I'm doing solo because Joe has to work his other blue collar job. And I'm gonna do the black collar job here with you at Joelicious, Joelicious Kitchen. So stay tuned with us and we'll be right back. Yeah, Joe. So today we're cooking the lazy schnockered brats. That means beer, braised cabbage, and sausage. As easy as that. I'm doing two recipes side by side. One of them is going to be with beer, and the other one is going to be beer free for all those people that do not like beer. Yeah, Joe. So, uh, for what we need for the recipe, we will need we will need two tablespoons of unsalted butter per recipe. So I'm doing four tablespoons. One medium-sized sliced onion. Well, I'm doing one large size. I'm using half and half. We'll need about a pound per portion of bratwurst. I'm using the beer infused bratwurst by Smithfield that's infused with yingling beer. So that being said, um, I'm doing five, half the package for the beer recipe and half the package for the non-beer recipe. And that's gonna be uh, five and five. We will also need One gala apple, smaller, I'm using a larger one, cut in half, and sliced, cored and uh, sliced. We will also need uh, two to three garlic cloves for the, per recipe, so I'm doing four garlic cloves. I don't want to go too garlicky on that. We'll need One or one and a half pound of green uh, green cabbage. Well, I'm doing the coleslaw mix because there are some carrots mixed in. I'm being a little bit lazy. That's why it's called a lazy schnockered brats recipe. So um, basically, I'm using one one half of it for the beer recipe, one for non beer recipe. About a pound, uh, close to a pound per recipe of coleslaw mix. Of course, I'll need beer. And I'm using the Cavalier Brewing, freshly brewed, Joelicious Milkshake IPA. I am also gonna have one while I'm making it, making the, the breads. And uh, we will need uh, two tablespoons of Wor Worcestershire sauce. We call it Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> uh, uh, basically, uh, I'm gonna do two and two, so two tablespoons and two tablespoons. And, of course, we will need some, uh, one tablespoon per recipe of Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, about a half a tablespoon per recipe. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else? Um, of course, fresh dill to garnish. And I am also using some of this wonderful brioche baguettes imported from France, from France. So we're gonna use those to fill them with sausage, with brats, and cabbage. And I'm using them fresh. You can use regular hot dog rolls or any rolls of your, of your choice. Joe. So we basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start the oven, or the oven, the stove, I'm in my bed, start it on high, 
medium to high, I should say. I'm gonna take some butter. And we're gonna throw the butter right on in the pan, frying pan. We need the two deep frying pans. One's we, one we use it for the regular brats, and the other one we're using for the beer brats. Two tablespoons. A little bit more, I should say, because I like everything buttery. I'll just go with this one light. Unsalted butter is preferable, but if you like salted, then go easier on the salt, folks. Let the butter melt. with sausages. We're going to do five sausages per recipe. Sausages in the pans. At this point, it doesn't matter. We can put six in this one and four in this one. That's what that's what actually I'm gonna do for right now. But then later, you know what? Maybe we'll just keep that ratio like that. Alright, we're at two and a half minutes or so. So now we're gonna start clipping them. Now look at this side. Nice, brown, golden brown. Guess the way we like it. I am definitely going to have to scrape the stove uh, the, the, um, the stove after I'm done cooking because a lot of a lot of activity going around here with the butter. Separate 
platform, all the slices. Probably gonna have to cut this one in half. salt and pepper. And now I'm going heavy on salt, of course, because Joe is not here to correct me, to control. Well, sorry folks, I'm going to have to eat a lot of salt today. And pepper. Can't go wrong with pepper. Okay? And now we want to add the garlic. Two cubes in this recipe. I'm using the cubes, yeah, you can use garlic cloves there. Uh, basically, this is, I'm using these for the convenience. Basically, each one cube is a clove uh, that got processed in a food processor and uh, frozen. That frozen. You can buy those pre-frozen garlic cubes in uh, some uh, stores, uh, grocery stores. Well, I make them myself. Because I want to know what I put in those cubes. So we're going to stir it, make sure the garlic coats the apples and the onions. It's beautiful. This looks very nice. And it smells delicious. Oh my gosh. This kitchen is smell delicious. So we're going to cook it for about six minutes total, which we've already cooked for another, for about five to about a minute or so. So next, we're going to get the sausage ready. I mean, the sausage ready is ready. We're going to get the cabbage ready, which is coleslaw mix, basically. You can use cabbage, regular cabbage yourself. You're just going to have to slice it. And uh, what else do we need? We'll need our beer, our mustard, and the Worcester, Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so at this point, oh, by the way, to substitute beer for the original authentic German recipe, that is the beer recipe, I'm going to use chicken broth. We're doing one bottle of beer. I'm going to put a little bit less because uh, we're going slightly lower portions on everything. So I'm going to open the beer and pour in it. And watch this. I love this part most because all this foam, all this foam. It's a 12 ounce bottle. I'm going to use the low sodium chicken broth for this recipe. Same idea. Alright, in fact, I'm going to pour the entire bottle because this sauce is going to evaporate anyway. Next thing, we're going to put the sausage back in the, in the pans. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six for this recipe. The smell of apple 
I, I, I can feel it, I can smell it, it's delicious. It's delicious, it blends in in this, in this recipe. The onions are already softened, softer than they we were before, so uh, they cook through, they're nice and golden. So we're gonna put all the sausage, all these brats, lazy brats, on top of the sauce. We're gonna throw the mustard in too. So let's do this. We're gonna just spread out the mustard like that. So that's gonna give us a better taste, an interesting taste. So now, the mustard is in, the beer is in this here. We're gonna add Worcester sauce, Worcestershire sauce, I should say. I should say. And then uh, two tablespoons, approximately. So let's see, like that, and like that. Next. We're gonna slowly stir in the cabbage. Oh, this is a tricky part. I'm gonna. I should have taken. I should have gotten a larger, uh, larger pan, but uh, for this one. But so we'll just go easier on the cabbage here. So I'd say 30 to 70 ratio. Then. Right. We're not gonna need this one anymore. set timer for 20 minutes. <clears throat> and we're gonna go have some beer. At this point, we're gonna we're gonna stir. We're gonna stir all the cabbage. At this point it's already settling. So we'll start with the larger pan uh, with the larger pan. A good stir because that mustard is uh, still kind of on top of the sausage, and uh, so is the Worcestershire sauce. At this point, I'm gonna get the baguettes ready. They're basically the consistency of uh, hot dog rolls, so basically, you can use hot dog rolls instead, anything works. They have to be slightly on the bigger side, um, but it all depends on also on the size of the breads you guys are using. And uh, these are kind of big, so we're using this two guys right here. Delicious. Kitch. Yeah, Joe. That's it. Moment of glory. I'm going to turn the hand off. And when we're going to turn the stove off. And transfer all the stuff onto the table. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to check the smell. Out the smell. Oh, I smell Germany. I smell France. And I smell more Germany here. All right. The beer is here. So is the Joe. I'm going to do one of these. 
this is a regular recipe and one of these that's the beer recipe in any in both cases there is beer in both recipes because this sausage is infused with yingling beer but this is more beer this is less beer this is lazy schnocker breads and these are lazier and sh more schnocker breads all right so we're gonna throw the spoon for that throw some cabbage over it that's it throw some cabbage on this one you can add more mustard as if you desire and then uh, let's see Now, we're going to throw some dill all over it, just to season it, spice it up. And we're going to try it. I'm going to have to use a knife, because this stuff is hard to eat like that. It's too hot too. So let me try this. No beer. Half beer. Mm -hmm. ah. Let's try this one. Sausage tastes about tastes about the same. Let's try the cabinet. I can hardly feel the difference. So folks, whether you like beer or not, this recipe is good with beer or without beer tastes about the same you will not feel the beer it just gets soaked in and I guess you don't taste it I don't know maybe because I'm drinking beer I don't taste it but so far so good it's it's delicious delicious folks thank you for sticking with us stay tuned for more we'll have more delicious kitchen episodes coming we'll have more schizophrenia shows and we'll definitely have more Joe and Joe shows and uh, yes, delicious sweet Sundays. Tada for now. Stay tuned. Have a great night. Delicious. Yeah, Joe.